Welcome everybody. I'm Dr. John Dagenhart. We're at our office tonight. We're not at the TV station, so something unique. It's going to be special. We have Kat Bree with us and Dr. Alex. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> We're going to talk about Kat was in a car accident. I think many people that are in car accidents just forget about chiropractors. They go to the emergency room, they get referred to physical therapy, and they come to us months later where their spine is still never corrected. So let's talk about that a little bit. So welcome to the show, young lady. Thank you. How long ago was your car accident? It was about seven months ago, I believe okay. now. Give everybody just a brief idea. Who is Kat Bria? <laughs> well, my name is Catherine Bria. I'm 26 years old. I'm now and graduated from um, the Beauty Institute. I'm a certified and licensed esthetician. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to be providing facials, body treatments. I also do some teeth whitening on the side. So when a little bit of everything. When we're done, let's give out your email or your phone number. Maybe okay, we can get some patients good. from all of this. Okay. But thanks, folks. We're going to talk more about her car accident. I'm going to want you to watch what an adjustment is like. Many people maybe don't really know what it's like to be adjusted. And then she's going to talk about how she loves massages. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Chiropractic. I'm Dr. John, we're talking about car accidents. This is Kat Bria, she's in one, what, about a year ago did you say? Yeah, like eight, seven, eight months ago. Okay, give everybody some idea, what happened in the accident? All right, so I was driving back to Pennsylvania, I was in New York, um, I was on 80, it was a rainy day, I was driving, and out of a sudden, just a car just whipped me through the back, and I just hit the car right in front of me, it was just a quick, it was just like a really big impact. It happened so quick. The back, the car in the back just flew off pretty much. And then that's what happened. You know, Kat, what our, our Dr. Alex, what our challenge is, there was no blood, no, no broken I bones. Know, no. So a lot of people just say, you know what? No big deal. I'm, I'm going to go take some muscle relaxers and forget about it. I'm here 40 years now. That double, think about it now. A car hits you, then you hit the car in front of you. So there's like a double whiplash. Those patients come to me 20 years later. We take x-rays, they're all full of arthritis. So it's our job, that's why we're doing this show. To educate the public that even if there's no, you know, your face didn't hit the windshield, there wasn't like a car wasn't demolished, but get to the chiropractor right after the accident to get it adjusted. Dr. Alex, give, her, give us some idea. With your x-rays, what do you normally see in a whiplash injury like that? Right, so when we're talking about whiplash, there's a lot of instability. So let's say we're looking at a neck x-ray. And normally all these spinous processes, the tip of the spine that you can feel when you touch your neck, they're usually so close together, so tight, then there's like a certain range they have to be in. But when you get these whiplashes, all the ligaments and muscles are stretched out as you whip your head forward and back. So you can imagine on the x-ray, they're all fanned out, especially if you we give you a little stress by just tucking your chin just a little bit. And even way later, like even now, you probably have a little bit more than usual. But, you know, right after it, I'm sure it was, you know, all those the spinous vertebrae, they were all fanned out. And, you know, that just tells us everything's super stretched. So for someone watching this show, I want to be honest with you, I still go in public where people say I'm afraid to see a chiropractor. What was your first adjustment like? Was it scary? Was it gentle? Was it rough? What would you tell them? Honestly, when I did come first, I was a little bit spectacle. That's when I came with my boyfriend. That's okay. That's how I got introduced to like the chiropractor and all that. I was a little nervous, but everything, especially you, you were just amazing. Everything just was just so natural. I didn't feel nothing at all. Like even the cracks, nothing at all. I wasn't worried. Everything just later. Okay. Later tonight, can I give you an adjustment of so course. people can see? I, again, Kat, what, what you and I think is so normal. There are many people out there that are fear, and I'll be honest with you, some chiropractors are rougher than we are. 
I'm not putting I them agree. down. <laughs> but that's I, the reason why I was scared. <laughs> but that, that's, why, so that's why I want to get the cross. There, there is, people think all chiropractors are the same. They'll say, 20 years ago in New Jersey, this guy traumatized me. So I, I don't want to go any chiropractors. Mm -hmm. But not every cardiologist is the same. Not every chiropractor is the same. So Can in a I couple agree? minutes, we'll take a break. Besides chiropractic adjustments, you get massages at this office? Oh, yes. Wonderful. wonderful. I think that's Great the only experience. reason you come here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but, but give them an idea. What is a massage like? Well, with the massage, I got the massages with Tony. She was amazing, very professional. The room was very clean and just like the aroma. She has like the aroma, the, the lavender. Aromatherapy. It's very, very relaxing as soon as you get in there. And all of you can see, it feels like heaven and back. <laughs> just okay. very soothing. And just once she just gets in there with her gentle, gentle touch, because she has very, very soft hands. Her touch was just amazing. Well, talk um, about it though. You get in there, right? Yes. She leaves the room. She leaves the room. She gives you time to get changed. She gives you a few minutes. She goes back. Well, preferably a lot of, I take everything off. You know, I leave my underwears on. Okay. You know, I get covered with the sheets and the whole time I have the sheet on. Good. When it's time to roll over, very, very professional. She turns you over. She won't even look at you. You know, you just turn over, puts the sheet back on. Because so if there's I was nothing a, to feel uncomfortable about. If I was mm -hmm. a woman, I, I want a nice professional massage, but something that is still where I'm not going to be exposed. Of course. So at least yeah. women and men know that no one's going to see their, their private parts. It's nice and professional then mm -hmm. at the office. Yes. Very. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. How about we stop for a break? Okay. And we're going to actually go get an adjustment in my office okay. so they could follow and then we're going to come back. Dr. Alex, I want to then talk about people don't know. Do they need to be referred here by their family doctor? You know, does their insurance cover them? Like all of those kind of like legal questions, you know, should I get an attorney? Those things we'll talk about for the second segment, okay? Sounds good. So let's go down the hall to my adjustment room. Let's see what an adjustment's like. Welcome back to Let's Talk Chiropractic. You know, my patients say to me on YouTube, there's a couple of chiropractors who do these adjustments and they have this rope and they jerk the person's neck and they, they, they're so rough. Chiropractic does not have to be rough to get good results. So I want you to watch what I do 50, 60 hours a week for 40 years. I think we're the busiest office in town because we are not rough. It is not scary to get adjusted. So we have what we call a high-low table. Some chiropractors have a table that just stays flat. And if you're in a lot of pain, it's hard to crawl on the table and off the table. So to be blunt, it's a more expensive table, but I always wanted to get the best tools to get the best results. So I'm going to let it go down. There is a left and a right sacroiliac joint at the base of cat's spine. So the table does all the work. If her spine is misaligned from like a car accident, it misaligns the back and the legs get on level. So one of my jobs is to simply measure the length of her legs to see how much they're off. So we're going to simply measure the length of her legs. And she's good. She was just adjusted a week ago. Right after the accident, her one leg was longer. So the way we adjust it, we use the table you tighten it up for the person's weight and you get on the right side joint right by her mic and you just tap it. Just tap it. It sounds loud and might look scary but cat. That was gentle, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. so we just do a, we do a gentle adjustment. So if someone's watching a show in a car accident then they have lower back pain. The, the hospital gives them muscle relaxants. We feel it's better to get the back in alignment. And once the back is in place, then we went 25 vertebrae and her spine should be nice and straight. So we just feel the spine. It, we're going to push gently. If, sometimes if it doesn't need the crack, we don't force it. But the goal is to try to get like a little adjustment. So, Kat, take a deep breath. And exhale for me. All the way out. Good girl. I don't know if you can hear that on TV. But because the paper's making some sounds. But Kat, did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Very gentle. Couple little adjustments. 
But so this is gentle. This is easy. Here's the critical part of today's show, the neck area. Many people will say, don't crack my neck, and I won't. A good chiropractor listens to the patient. So there's that drop piece table where let's say you're 75 years old and you have arthritis in the neck. I don't think that neck should be cracked by a chiropractor. So we have a drop piece where you, you raise the head up and you get, say her third vertebrae is to the right, you just tap it. And as you tap it, the table drops and it moves gently. Again, the sound of the table might sound a little scary on TV, but my 89-year-old patients, they love it. It's just a gentle way of tapping it. But for other patients who do get their necks twisted, I'm going to bring up the table, we'll put Cat on her back, I'm going to adjust her neck. I want people to see that in neck adjustment, the hand should be physical enough to get an adjustment, gentle enough never to scare the patient though. So we're going to bring her up. You still awake? Yeah, I'm here. Good. Okay, we want you to lay on your back. We put her back down a little. So this is the same routine I do all day long for all my patients. Check the length of their legs. All my patients now are knowledgeable. They'll say to me, check to see if my legs are level. Because they know if their legs are unlevel, that causes their back pain. Most people like cat, it's a whiplash injury. It takes four months to get adjusted and massaged, then you take new x-rays. And you wanna get what Dr. Alex was talking about, maybe we could show this briefly. You're supposed to have a good curve, a good curve in the neck. Many people after a car accident, they get a very straight, weakened, what we call a military neck. So to move those vertebrae, it's like a, an orthodontist straining crooked teeth. You do it little by little by little, and after 20, 30 visits in four or five months, the x-rays are perfect, and she'll have no, no arthritis at all in her neck when she gets older. So we're gonna get a little neck adjustment. We palpate. We always tell patients, never sleep on your stomachs. That twists the neck and knocks it out. People have tension in the neck. They should never be stretching or cracking their own neck. It makes it more what we call rubbery, it makes it worse and worse, so they have to crack their neck more and more often on their own. My angle, when I get behind the patient and we adjust what they call the facets, it gets the spine in proper place, so the patient then has less and less tension. Stops their migraines, no numbness in their arms, it gets back that curve in the neck. So here's what it looks like. We get the neck and we put my, the tip of my finger called the contact point, just a little twist, nothing rough. And if it doesn't crack, we don't try to force it. But on TV, it was so scary that Hulu, or the guy gets a rope and jerks people's necks. And he has several lawsuits against him. I think he's trying to impress the public. But chiropractic does not have to be rough to be effective. Now, this is usually her, her worst side. There it is. So nothing the first time. I did a little bit more. And again, if a woman says to me, don't crack my neck, I never do. I feel it's the patient's body, they have the right not to. Here's what I've seen a lot. We start tapping the neck gently. We, we develop a trust relationship. And by the second or third visit, the woman says to me, you know what, John? You seem different than the other chiropractors. You seem more sincere, more gentle, I'll trust you. My migraines are still there, do a little bit more. So then when we twist them, they'll say that was much more gentle than what, I, what the other guy did. So then we, because adjusting the neck this way does get more accomplished. But if you're 60, 70, 80 years old, we don't do it that way. We do like we did before. So that's the chiropractic adjustment. So in a car accident, we adjust cat, then she goes and gets her massage. We're not going to show a massage because she'll start snoring probably during the <laughs> massage. But we're going to go back into the waiting room. Dr. Alex is going to talk about, do you need a referral to come to a chiropractor? How much insurance does it cover and, and like legal questions. So let's take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Let's Talk Chiropractic. This is the last session. We talked about car accidents, how you 
don't have to go to the hospital because you didn't go to the hospital. No. We have our own x-ray machine here to take our own x-rays. We adjusted her. You watch that. She talked about massage therapy where she gets down to her panties and they cover her with, with, with like sheets. Now let's talk about, I think a lot of people, Dr. Alex, are wondering, when I'm in an accident, do I need to go to my medical doctor and get a referral or can I just call any chiropractor and go directly to the office? You can come right here uh, with chiropractic. Or, or it's not like PTs where with PTs, and I'm not sure if that's even the same anymore, but where you had to get a referral in, in order to be able to see them or they turn you back. No, you can come right here first. And, you know, we can be treated as a primary care is what we call it, where we're the first person on, on a particular injury or after an accident or something like that. And then we can refer you to the, the other doctors. So. so that first visit, we normally ask her, Give us the name of your insurance company. Give us your claim number because we write up a report, diagnosis, prognosis, send it to the insurance company. But Kat, the best thing, and that's why I think I'm doing this, people don't realize in Pennsylvania, the state minimum is $5,000 minimum coverage. Somebody has more, 10, 20, 30. So you can get maybe a CAT scan, an MRI, but you can come here. The average person, the research shows, Alex, it takes four to six months to reverse a whiplash injury. So Kat came for between four to six months for adjustments and massages. We build everything to the car insurance. You pay nothing, right? No, nothing. So if you have car insurance, and it's supposed to be a state law that you do have car insurance, I want people to realize, Alex, they could come right to the office. We directly do the billings to the insurance companies, and it's a beautiful thing to regain your health. Yes. You know, she had enough stress probably to get the car fixed, she was going to school at Allentown to, to finish your license. Yes. Help my memory. Did you have a car available to you at that time? It was hard times. Thank God. Luckily, it was just three times a week. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So school was three times a week. Yeah. Three times and we saw you here two times a week. Yeah, two times. And there a were week. times, maybe even one time, you know, we had a snowy winter. So there were times she had to cancel appointments from a snowstorm or she'd be late on a highway coming back from Allentown. So you, you sort of work with each patient, Alex, to get them better. But in conclusion, someone who's watching the show, be honest, we said it earlier, there was 20 <laughs> chiropractors in this area. People are going to shop around to find a chiropractor that, that they feel comfortable with. Everybody was like you. You were <laughs> nervous at first. Why did you choose this office? Honestly, I just did my shopping around like everyone else, and I had very bad experience. <laughs> like I told him, I went to a chiropractor. My neck was stiff, and it was stiffer when I had so it was... And I, I want to be honest. Yes. You know, I, I saw a TV show once. I called the doctor, and these three chiropractors were asked, does the chiropractic experience has ever hurt anybody? And they all said, no, 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 it's nice and safe. The truth of the matter is you have to communicate. I have to ask you, what are your, you know, Alex, if someone is stiff and scared, that first visit is crucial. Be extra gentle. Just get a trust relationship and do a little bit more each time. Whoever you went to, he was probably thought, I'm going to impress this young woman. I'm going to be rough with her. He scared you away. Yes. <laughs> so then you came here and it was a much more gentle experience. Yeah, it was much gentle. I didn't, I never even felt anything. And it turned out I just better. got adjusted and I didn't feel nothing. I could have went to sleep. <laughs> well, good kid. But honestly, we, we love what we do. With, you know, yes. I was once injured in playing soccer. For three years, I saw Dr. Gunderson. You know, Alex, back when you were probably not even born, when I was a senior in high school, I had crutches, I had numbness in my legs. After three years of orthopedic doctors and PT, I, I didn't know where else to turn. When my dad said, let's try chiropractic, I remember thinking, Dad, aren't they cracks? You know, I, I heard that that's 45 years ago, but I hope chiropractic has come a long way from then till now. So that, that's why we do these shows. We pray to, to break down the barriers, that we know people are nervous. We know there's going to be people in car accidents. I hope there's five or ten people that watch this show that say, you know what, we're not getting better from our physical therapist. Because, you know, if you get a lot of soft tissue therapy, but if your neck or, or back is misaligned, I've seen it, Alex. You've got to get it in proper alignment. And then the therapy, like the massage therapy, is then helpful. So is that what you've seen over on your side of the office? Definitely. And there's, you got to have a whole life balance, you know. You can't just have your therapy and, and be done with it. Lots of times there's, there's extra stuff that comes with it. So in the healing process, a lot of times I find out that there's an additional stress in their life that's, that's making it worse or something like that. Like they can't sleep or, you know, a death in the family or something traumatic like that. 
and uh, keeping it focused on you can have your soft tissue, but you got to be adjusted. You also got to be well rounded and get the whole thing together because if you're not together mentally and psychologically, physically, the whole thing falls apart. One piece can't function without the rest, you know? I have so many patients, you know, I'm here 40 years now. They have three, four accidents in 40 years. They call us immediately. I don't want to go for CAT scans and MRIs. I know that you'll take my x-rays and then you give me adjustments. And so they want to sort of use all of their money, if I could put it that way, for proper care. Because if you get a bunch of, let's say you get an ambulance ride and an MRI and a CAT scan, their 5,000 is used up. They have nothing left to, to treat the body. So we try to educate people. Try to get more than 5,000 in my opinion. Because if you need an ambulance ride, get it. You know, if my face cat hits the windshield and they're afraid I might have what they call a brain bleed, mm -hmm. the, the, the ambulance is usually about a $1,400 ride. Then they'll do a $1,000 CAT scan, a $2,000 MRI. They might use up $5,000 that first session. So I tell everybody for $100 extra per year, and that's the attorney in me after 40 years. An attorney will say, get more than $5,000 coverage, so then you can get three, four months of chiropractic to refresh and renew your body back to where it used to be. Okay? Okay. I think that just about sums it up. So in conclusion, if you have a car accident, go right to the chiropractor. We could take our own x-rays. If you have a, a bad head injury, don't get me wrong, go to the hospital, get a CAT scan, get an MRI, but include chiropractic, get, getting the back back in alignment. I've seen Alex people 20 years later, they never went to the chiropractor. Their arms are numb, they're having fainting spells and migraines. They went for pain medication and physical therapy, but they never went into chiropractic. So I pray we got a, uh, this point across in tonight's show. You did a good job. Thank you. It wasn't so bad. No. You were ready to jump off the cliff, I think, before. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week.